I said, Amen. I said, if God is in control, they're good. And uh, if God was in total control about sickness and disease, I'll tell you right now, there'd be none. Are you hearing? Now, just, just open up this morning. All this old religious stuff has, 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 kept, has bound people down and it's closed their ears to hearing God's word. And I want you to hear something this morning. Praise God. Hear the truth. Now, there is scripture compiled. And that's where we get our information from. That, that God gave us promises. And He said if we would do these things, that certain things would happen. Right? Now, do you remember in Joshua chapter 1, where Moses had died. Now God was trying to accomplish things through Moses. He had all of the children of Israel that he had made. God had made, uh, we'll try not going to this too far, but God had made a covenant with Abraham and to his seed. Now he's really talking about the seed that was to come, which is Jesus. But in the meantime, he's also talking about his literal seed, his, the seed of his womb. But through this seed is going to come Jesus. But God promised them a land and he said, it's a land that flows with milk and honey. I promised it to your fathers and I've given it to you. And it's not something God is going to do. It's something that he did. Now, and through Moses, of course, Moses obeyed God and he went to Pharaoh and, 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 and ultimately delivered the, the, Egypt, uh, the Israelites out of Pharaoh's hand. Amen? God through Moses did that. And now they're coming out. and They're coming out of the land of bondage. Now notice, this is God's will. This is God's will. It wasn't God's will to begin with for them to be over in the land of Egypt and under the bondage of Pharaoh. Can you see that? It wasn't God's will for them to... They were 400 years in bondage to the Egyptians. Are you hearing? Now listen, we're, we're going to get to something here. Now, so, so when, when God had took Moses and it was the end of Moses' life. And Joshua, of course, is coming up under Moses. God's always got a man, more than one, that he's bringing up. This is something pastors fail to realize this day and time. It seems like, well, I'm just out for myself. I'm, I'm out on my own. God never intended it to be that way. God, God wants everyone, everyone to come up under someone. Everyone. I don't believe there's much exception to that rule. Because people have to be trained to, to know God, to know His will. Amen. And, and people have sometimes just tried to launch out on their own. And I heard somebody make a statement one time. It was over Trinity Broadcasting. And uh, he says God had called him to preach, but he told God, he said, no, God, I don't want to sit on the sideline. There is no other place for you. <laughs> no, I've got to preach, he said. Well, that's not right. Why isn't it right, brother? Because you don't know nothing yet. You don't know nothing. That's what's wrong right now. A bunch of preachers took out and didn't know anything and started trying to build churches and they still don't know nothing. No, I mean, I'm, not, I'm just saying that on neutral ground so don't, don't know darts or nothing. But don't you know you're going to have to know you God? Don't you know that you're going to have to get some good Holy Ghost information 
And God's going to have to put things in you. And people sometimes are full of pride and they don't want to sit under anybody. They, they, don't want to, they don't want to take the back seat. You know, I'll tell you right now, it's not fun. It ain't, it's, no, it's no good. It hurts the flesh of sight to, <laughs> to, to, to have to be, submit yourself to, to someone. It hurts. It don't feel good at all. You think, well, I should be up. To, no, no, you shouldn't be. The reality is no, you shouldn't be. Because you, you don't have anything in you yet. God's working on you. Now, now don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not, I don't have nobody in mind when I say that. I'm talking in general terms. But, but God is always, now if you'll notice spiritually, God will put people in your life. It's just like you're drawn to them. It may be a ministry of time past. Usually it's someone now. But you'll be drawn to hear them. God's trying to put that person in your life so you can hear him. He, he has put him in the body of Christ for you. 